What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode here on Above Average. If you're new to the channel, my name is Trevor and boy, do we have a good one for you today. I just want to say thank you and sorry to everyone who has been waiting so patiently for these videos to come your way. Uh, I'm still kind of getting settled down. You know, I'm working a full-time job now. So uh, just getting my studio kind of set up. It's, it's taken a little bit longer than I've wanted to. And I just wanted to say I'm sorry for that. But this week I should have it done. So the videos will be coming more regularly. And uh, yeah, I cannot wait for that. But boys, ladies and gentlemen, oh my gosh, I cannot uh, describe how much I'm loving it here in Edmonton. Uh, I'm just going to tell you this quick little story this weekend uh we uh, got our place our landlord he gave us uh if you're from edmonton um there's a cactus club i think it's called the cactus club we got a hundred dollar gift card so from our landlord so we're like yeah we're, we're gonna go use that on saturday night which is exactly what we did and so you know i'm just chowing down on this burger i look to my right and i'm just like oh my gosh i think i just seen tyler ennis i'm like bro like i'm talking to my buddy i'm like i think that was tyler ennis he's like who's that he played for the oilers i'm like oh my gosh oh my gosh obviously i'm about 10 drinks in and uh if i was sober i definitely wouldn't have went up to him but man i'm going to show you the photos now and obviously i am fanboying as you can tell but i cannot describe how cool this was uh when he was playing for the medicine hat tigers i actually got a chance to meet him as you can see in the photo and uh yeah ignore the hat uh, that wasn't because i was a flames fan just because my dad only had a flames toque for me so i had to wear that so that's what that was but man it is it was just so sweet like literally i go up to him i'm like hey man like are you tyler ennis obviously i'm pretty drunk and he's like yeah buddy and i'm like no freaking way i told him i'm like i'm a huge fan of yours man he's like right on bro he's like i love your hat and uh he's like do you want a photo he shook my hand he's like do you want a photo with me and i'm like you want a photo with me and so i'm like yeah oh f yeah i'll gladly take a photo with you bro and just the nicest guy, literally, he, he, like, I wasn't going to ask for anything. And, uh, you know, the fact that he asked me for a photo, I was like, for sure. Like what a good, genuine guy, literally just so cool. Just so cool. So I just wanted to tell you guys that it was a pretty cool experience. But with that being said, let's get into this video. And we're talking the Oilers preseason, uh, you know, some players that are, have stuck out to me. Um, I haven't seen every single game, but I've seen like a few and, um, yeah, there's a few players that I'd like to pinpoint and talk about. And, uh, I'm just going to just jump right into this Dylan Holloway, man. Yeah. So in the thumbnail, you see, I put, I was wrong and I really like, I genuinely did not expect this from him, man. He's looked, he's fit right in and he's looked good. Like his skating is way better than what I thought it was. His hands look super slick. Um, during the pregame warm-up, I seen him doing this, you know, like, uh, he was flipping the puck, but it was like doing a spin. I don't know. It was pretty cool. You see the high-end players do that. Johnny Gaudreau's done it a few times. So I'm like, okay, so this guy's definitely spent his hours in the garage perfecting these moves. That's kind of sweet. And, but man, his shots look good. Uh, sick pass. So like I can show that right now on the power play. Um, right to Jason Demers. What a what a what a nice uh, pass that was. He has looked good, and uh, the Oilers actually play Vancouver tonight. He is going to be slotted on a line with Leon Dreisaitl and Zach Hyman. So I'm really looking forward to see what those guys can do. And honestly, I think he I think he fits right in, man. I'm super pumped to watch that. It's the first one that they're actually uh, televising on uh, TV. So that is going to be cool. But man, I just. I don't know. It, it all goes back to, you know, I never really watched Dylan Holloway play a heck of a whole lot when he was playing for Wisconsin. I just come to think of it when he was in the World Juniors uh, the year that it was a super stacked team. Um, he just, he was okay, but he didn't stick out. He, you know, I forget who was on. Uh, there was, you know, was some pretty high level like that year, you know, Cole Perfetti. There were some pretty big name players on the team that year, but uh, he just, he didn't stick out a heck of a whole lot, you know, but he didn't make any glaring mistakes either. He was just all right. Sometimes Sometimes that's a good thing but I, I don't know and so ever since then that was like really the the first and pretty well last time that I watched every single game or like that I watched a full-on game of his and I just thought it was all right and just comparing uh, Xavier Borgo's like two games that I seen him play in the world juniors uh, this last year like I thought Borgo stood out like a lot more that's why I was projecting him a little bit higher in the than I was Dylan Holloway but man I think I might be wrong and you know that's okay everyone's wrong every now and then but holy crap guys if you're an Oilers fan you have to be pumped this guy is legit and it is super exciting and I I, I mean this I just cannot wait to see what he does he's I'd be blown away if he doesn't start there's for sure he's starting the season with the Oilers this year in the orange and blue and uh 
I cannot wait to watch him, man. It's it's going to be really, really cool. And uh, where, whether he's on the third line, second line, first line, I don't know. But, man, he's making this team deservingly so. Like, he's fit right in. And, uh, yeah, so I, I just wanted to talk about, obviously, Dylan Holloway. He looked like a beauty out there. So we, we got a player, obviously. They sent Xavier Borgo down, which nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, you look, Holloway didn't make it. You know, he's going to spend some time down there. He's going to get a lot of minutes, which I think is, you know, which is totally fine. I, I'd actually prefer that. That if this was the Oilers of, you know, Peter Chiarelli days, he'd be starting in the lineup, and I don't really like that. So I, I love the decision having him start in the minors this year, and I think there's nothing wrong with that. Um, as far as other players goes, Yessi Pugliarvi, obviously, he's he's had some chances. It's nothing been crazy, so I'd definitely like to see him. Uh, yeah, and, and I think that's a, he's not playing tonight, so I think they're, Kenny Holland's like, yo, um, and they had Pugliarvi pegged on uh, Leon Dreisaitl and Hyman's line the uh, last game, but he's not this time. Uh, this time. Uh, they're putting Holloway there. So I wonder if, you know, Kenny Holland's just like, oh, I want to see what uh, Holloway can do. And if he does better, then yeah, you're out, Yessi. So I don't know. Obviously, that sucks. Uh, I still think we got a player in Yessi. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. What do we do with him? Yeah, so Yessi, he's, he's done okay. Uh, another player I wanted to talk about, how can you not talk about? About the tandem of Stuart Skinner and Jack Campbell guys they look sweet Stuart Skinner what a beauty man like he he actually hot oh man I've, I've just waited he, like you look at the rebounds like he's he's let in like some goals obviously that's to be expected right but like the saves he's making man he, he's like absorbing all these shots like extremely well and there's like no crazy rebounds at all like uh, the puck hits him and it's down the puck hits him and it's down he covers it every single time that is so nice to see he really can control his rebounds and that's huge in today's NHL and uh, I can I couldn't say the same for Mike Smith if uh, the puck was coming at him Mike Smith would tend to fall back and land on his ass and then he'd be up again and then he'd be back on his ass so um, he just looks sound. He looks really, really good in nets, and that goes for Jack Campbell as well. I'm super pumped, guys. Uh, I, I haven't been this pumped for a goaltending goal tandem for the Oilers, I don't think, ever. I think we're going to have a really good year in goaltending, and uh, yes, it's preseason. I know I'm maybe jumping, uh, maybe, you know, uh, getting ahead of myself, but uh, these that's what you want to see, right? Because if it's the other way around, we'd be like, oh, gosh, this is terrible. What a mistake. We signed Jack Campbell 5x5. Five five. Like, what are we doing? So... Well, it's okay. We'll roll with the punches. It's looking good so far, and uh, I'm not going to jump to conclusions or anything, but it is looking really cool, and I cannot wait for that as well. Tonight's going to be a good game. They're pretty well starting their whole lineup um, for the most part. Uh, like, uh, obviously, yes, he's not in. Broberg's not in. Um, and a few other players. Uh, Tyler Benson, I, I got to give a shout out to him as well. Man, what a snipe. You know, obviously he's known for his uh, playmaking abilities. And um, he, you've seen a couple glimpses of that. You know, he, he has been able to show that, uh, especially in the minors. But man, that was the first time I've seen him shoot the puck. And I'm thinking, why the hell aren't you doing that a little bit more, Tyler? That, that was a snipe against Connor Hellebuck. How the heck are you doing? Vesna Trophy winner? Are you kidding me? So obviously that was a pretty nice goal. You know, the Sully was sick. He had a nice little smile. He's like, yeah, I just did that, boys. So I'd like to see that, man. Tyler Benson, uh, hometown kid. I'm, I've am i rooted for this guy more than anyone, like, I think. Like, out of all the Oilers, I've, I've been a huge homer for uh, Tyler Benson. I love the guy, and I just want him to, to succeed in uh, the NHL level. So with that being said, guys, I'm just going to wrap up this video. It is a short one. I'm, uh, You know, I got some more videos coming, and I, I just want to say sorry and thank you for everyone who has been so patient. Really, like, I, I seriously, it means a lot. So let's keep the views let's keep the lights going guys uh, i'll have the setup pretty soon and uh, you'll be able to see my beautiful face then and there but until then uh we're gonna be doing this I, yeah i think this is the last video i'm gonna do it's just my audio and then yeah, i'll we'll be back to uh how we were doing things the old-fashioned way with uh you know my face on the camera so guys hockey is up, like the hockey season's just <laughs> right around the corner i'm so pumped so with that being said if uh, you're a hockey fan if you're a sports fan leave a like and subscribe and uh, yeah, that's all I got. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys. Let's go. School Oilers, baby.